Yo, what's going on? I am Joe Alvarez, and today I want to teach you how to make a groove track master and have other instruments be armed and following the groove of whichever groove master track you decide. In this particular case, I'm going to use these drums as the groove track and then have my bass follow the groove of the drums. So in order to do that, you have to right click come down here to track header components and make sure that groove track down here is enabled. Again, you want to come down to this empty space, right click, track header components, groove track. And what that's going to do is if you go to the drum track over here on the far left, you see the star. If you just hover above it, it's going to say set track two, boom, bap. In this particular case, the drums as groove track. So I just want to make sure that's nice and starred. And then you notice these little empty checkboxes come up. So you can pick any instrument to slave to the groove track of the drums. So let me play for you the bass and the drums without the groove track enabled on the bass. And then I'll play with it so you can hear the difference. Check it out. Cool. So let me play that now enabled and watch how the bass follows the groove of the drums. And then I just went back to the original. So notice how that bass gets right in the same pocket as the groove of the drums. Um, in this particular case, I do have these drum quants, uh, these drums quantized to the MPC 60 60 percent swing at 1 16th. But you can also do this if, say, you didn't have a quantize. So I can take the quantization off and still have this following the groove of this region here. Now these drums are not the best played, but I'll play it to you. I play it for you anyway. Notice how lazy the bass got with the lazy drums and it works for anything you do. So if I say go to quantize 1 16th with a swing B from just a logic uh, preset, this is what it'll sound like. Cool. So that's just one way. Um, Again, to humanize your drums and your grooves, such as your bass, and your drums usually like to be in that same pocket, just to give it a more human type of feeling. Because sometimes if we just go here and quantize this track and then quantize the bass separately, it sounds good in this particular case, but it sounds much better when it's in the same groove. So just a couple ideas to make your drum sound more human, to give you a nice vibe and much more realistic energy to your drums and your grooves and your basses and your percussive sounds. You can add on to this. You probably even put on some melodies and some pianos alongside those drums. So hope you guys appreciate this video. Check you out next time. Peace.